Hi everybody, I am James the Man's Man, and welcome back into the Man's Kitchen. Today, we're going to make burgers. Now I know a couple months ago I already made a burger video where I did the Tilly Burger that was featured on that week's episode of MasterChef Junior. But today I'm not making somebody else's burger, I'm making my burger. The burger that we sold at my restaurant last spring as a, as a lunch special. And the first part of the burger is going to be an apple chutney that I'm going to show you how to make right after this. Alright, now that we're back, if you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button. To get notifications from YouTube, click the balloon. Follow me on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram so you can get updates about my future videos. Now, like I said, we're going to start with an apple chutney. That's going to be the topping for the burger, and we're going to start with that because that's going to take the longest to make. Over here, I have my ingredients for the apple chutney. I have one, I have one and a half cups of vinegar. This is one cup of pure white vinegar and half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Into the pot. I have an equal part, so one and a half cups of water into the pot. I have another equal part, one and a half cups of sugar into the pot. Now this is a basic gastrique. You would reduce this by two-thirds. Basically, if you put one and a half cup of each item into it, you want one and a half cup when you're done. That would make a basic gastrique. Into this, we're going to add some apples. I have two apples diced up there. You should add onions to it at this point, but Camera White Heather hates onions, so I'm leaving onions out. But one small medium red apple, small medium, I guess that doesn't work. One small to medium red apple would work. Red, one small to medium red onion would work. And then I have some spices here that I snagged from the restaurant. I've got one long cinnamon stick snapped in half, a couple pieces of star anise, and some coriander. Just gonna give this a good mix. And we're gonna put this on the stove. I'm gonna put it on a high heat till it boils. Then I'm gonna turn it down to a, a somewhere between a low and a simmer. And I'm gonna reduce this back down until I have, I would say um, one and a half uh, cups, but because the apples are going to add some volume to it, I'm probably going to reduce this down until I have two cups of uh, finished product here. You'll know when it's done because it starts to get thick, almost like a jam, and that's going to be our apple chutney to top up our burgers. Now that that's on, in the meantime, I'm going to clean off my counter here and get my ingredients ready to prep up the burgers, and I'll show you that next. All right, now that we got the chutney on for our topping on our burgers, what we need to do next is we need to get the patties made. For that, we have some ground beef here. Um, I have four 370 gram packages. That's what was on sale at the store. I have roughly two uh, red onions, half a bulb of garlic, some salt, and for those that know me well, my secret weapon, the cumin. What we're going to do is we're going to fry these up before we mix them into our patties. Yes? We're going to let our pan heat up for about 10-15 seconds. I might even just... Play. You want to make sure that you have a hot pan when you start. I'm going to add some sunflower oil. Gonna put in our onions. Add our garlic. 
And if you're not quite sure how to dice up onions and garlic, you can go back and watch some of my earlier videos. I'll link them in the description below, and there will be directions on how to cut onions. up your onions and mushrooms the way that you like. Did I say onions and mushrooms? Because I meant onions and garlic. You're going to put them into your, your bowl here of your ground beef. You're going to add in some cumin. hope you just washed your hands too. We're just going to dive in. Now I know the onions and garlic are going to be hot, so what I like to do is I like to make sure I start with some of the cold meat and fold it over, kind of bury everything that's hot, and then just keep rotating it around. And what's going to happen is the heat's going to distribute around, and it's not going to it's not going to be too hot to touch after. Just even now, now it's none of the none of the onions and garlic are too hot to touch. All I have to do is reach in here and grab them. Make sure everything gets mixed up nice. There we go. Nice, good, consistent mix of everything throughout. Okay, now you got two options here. It depends how much of a germaphobe you are. You can go wash your hands, come back and turn on your digital scale, or you can turn it on now. And either way, I recommend wiping it down with some type of bleach or a chlorinated based cleaning solution to make sure you kill any E. coli you're going to get on it. Since it's a sealed unit here, I'm going to turn it on now anyways. I like to just put a piece of paper down. I just feel like it makes wiping it down a little easier. And I'm going for 8 ounce patties here. So, there, I got 8 ounces here. I'm going to put this on my baking sheet that I'm using to store the melon. on. I'm going to portion all these up to 8 ounces, and I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, now that I've got my burgers uh, all weighed out, this is how. I press them since I don't have a burger press. I'm going to take my patty, my ball of meat that will be my patty, I'm going to put it right in the center of a round plate. See under here, I got a nice round plate, upside down. I'm going to put another parchment paper on top. I'm going to put a plate on it. I'm going to get down and I'm going to smush until they're the size that I like, right there. And I'm going to repeat, repeat the process until I'm finished. Now, I like to make an 8-ounce burger for myself. I made three 6-ounce burgers for my wife. I got five of these for myself. And I'll see you after I'm done pressing them all out. All right, so the apple chutney is actually finished. And I have it in the freezer right now getting cold because it was basically boiling water and sugar. And it's way too runny to use right now. So it's thickening up in the in the freezer actually. Um, you might want to make it the day before or if you're going to do a burger cookout for dinner, make it in the morning and just let it hang out in the fridge and by the time you want to use it, it should be ready then. But since I'm trying to do everything quick, quick, quick today, it's hanging out in the freezer. Now I have made my burger patties and I have one of them right here. So all I'm going to do on the indoor, and I'm doing it inside today because it's like 40 degrees outside today, and I don't really want to be outside. So we're going to turn the vent on so we don't smoke out the house. Put a little non-stick spray on here. All I did was put a little bit of salt on my uh, patty. 
and we're going to cook that for about five to six minutes per side and I'll get back to you when it's finished. And we're back. Now it's been about eight, nine minutes and I flipped my burger once or twice. Off camera, I toasted myself a bun and I just got some lettuce and tomato for it. I grabbed my chutney out of the fridge, freezer. Now, uh, like I said, I just reduced it back down. Actually, a little less than what I told you. Um, no. Yeah, I got about a cup and a half in here. And you can see that I let it boil. Because I let it boil hard when I was doing it, the sugar got dark like a caramel. And I like that caramely richness when I pair it with, with a burger. I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna reach in here and get if you, the longer this sets up, the thicker it'll get. But I'm going to put it on here. I got some apples and some of the sauce. You want to just avoid getting any whole pieces of the star anise on your actual food. Now at the restaurant, we made this as a cheeseburger. We used brie cheese. Brie cheese is really good for this, but a whole wheel of brie is 10 bucks. And I didn't want to buy one wheel of brie just for one burger. I'm going to close up my burger here, and mm. I got some of the apple chutney right away in the first bite, and mixed in with the burger, it gives a very pleasurable mouthfeel. You get the nice meatiness of your patty, plus you're also going to get a surprisingly flavorful and refreshing the refreshing part about it is what's surprising. You get all the spices in it. It's really good. It's not overpowering. It doesn't take away from the burger. They complement each other very well. Just like me and Camera White Cutter complement each other very well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like my channel, hit subscribe. Click the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload new videos. And remember to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook so you can get updates when I post new videos. And you can see other cool little content that I make for those uh, social media platforms. Thank you, and have yourself a great day.